Disclaimer The views expressed at, or through, this segment is those of the individual host with their team writing in their individual capacities, not those of respective teachers, the section, or school as a whole. All liability with respect to actions taken based on contents of this segment are hereby expressly disclaimed. The content on this posting on this provided, as is, no presentations are made that the content is error-free. While we use reasonable efforts to include accurate and up-to-date information, we make no warranties as to the accuracy of the content and assume no liability or responsibility for an error or omission in the content. Any and all of the materials, opinion, and insights provided by the segment to the viewers are provided, as is, and without warranty of any kind. Good day, Good day listeners. listeners! My name is Jeff. And mine's Mika. We will be your host in today's INA. INA. In today's INA, it's gonna be a little special as we will be discussing a Filipino artist. A Filipino artist? Sinong kababayan naman yan? Well, I heard that he is most known for his expressive style as the majority of it contains anger. How about you, Mika? Ano sa tingin mo? Hmm, quite interesting, huh? Well, based on my resources, he is also known for his cubist life works or abstracted geometric style. Now, do we have an idea who he might be? Hmm, is it ang Gigok? Yes, you got it! He was born on March 1, 1931 in Davao City, Philippines and have achieved critical and commercial success in his home country during the 1960s. And during the reign of Ferdinand Marcos who ruled the Philippines under martial law for the majority of the 1970s, he produced some of his most gruesome paintings. Kyukok was then named a national artist by his home country in 2001 and continued to exhibit until death in Quezon City, Philippines on May 9, 2005. Hmm, quite an information you got there, huh? Well, I hope you guys learned more about the background of Anki Ukok na ating kababayan because that's all we have for today as his general introduction. Now, tara na ba sa ating main course? Let's do it! First off, we have... Drum roll, please! The infamous Thinking Man, made in 1981. This powerful painting is exhibiting a seated human figure engrossed in thought and set against an energetic crimson background is quintessential Ang Kyuko. Additionally, the striking painting is imparted to the artist and the creator Ang Kyuko, one of the leading lights of the Philippine figurative expressionism. Partner, what can you see about the painting? Ang Kiukok was a Filipino painter who was known for his expressive cubist-style paintings, right? He frequently depicted rabid dogs, crucifixions, and screaming figures in an abstracted geometric style. And he often chose dynamic or disturbing subject matter. When asked why he frequently chose subjects that were rife with anger, he once responded, Why not? Oh, nga naman, partner. Ano naman niya? A art in its broadest sense. It's a form of communication. I agree with you, partner. And I believe that it has whatever meaning the artist intends it to have. And this meaning is influenced by the materials, methods, and forms it employs, as well as the ideas and feelings it evokes in its audience. Yes! It is because the painting is highly charged contrast presentation, which means achieved by rendering the pictorial space as a smooth surface in contrast to the textural application of paint on the subject. To continue, partner, the internal conflict depicted here goes beyond the literal. As in, really. Talaga? Yes! The human figure draws attention kasi due to its size and location in the foreground. However, the vibrant color behind it prevents it from dominating visually and allowing it to retain its assertive presence. Just imagine the techniques used to balance out the backdrop to the subject. Grabe, di ba? Yeah, right, partner. Ang lupit nun. Grabe yun. Oh. Before we move on to the second artwork, do you have any questions, partner? Or sa mga listeners natin dyan? Well, if you do have a question po, just comment down below. And um, susubukan namin sagutan ng mga ito sa next segment namin. Okay po? 
tama ka din partner. And if you want to listen and watch more of INA segments, just click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more updates. So, ay na nga. Yes, partner, I have a question. Nabanggit mo kasi kanina yung figurative expressionism. Do you mind explaining it to me and to our audience? Great question, partner. You see, figurative expressionism is a 20th century visual art style or movement that addresses issues at the heart of the expressionist sensibility, such as personal and group identity in the modern world. The role of the artist as a witness is to portray issues such as violence and corruption, and the nature of the creative process and its implication. Ah, oh, so that's how it is pala, partner. Thank you, Mika. Dami ko learnings today. Grabe. Next, we have... Fiverrman! Made in 1994, a piece made of oil on canvas mounted on wood wherein Ankyvok's visual world, hope, and struggle coexisted and nowhere is this more evident than in his painting of Fisherman, of which he painted just a few. Yes, this is a developed body of work that focuses on a small group of subjects. It's cute, right? It has these fine details that would make you feel the message. Yeah. It is like the most prominent features that there are. Tama ka dyan, girl. The painting illustrates the two human figures working together as they haul a net of plenty determined by the visages of the struggle of the attenuated limbs. This tangible emphasized through the diagonal action lines that converge in the middle of the canvas. As it hovers over the scene, a crimson sun, a favorite no other in his compositional device, takes on a new significance. An emphatic sign of the constancy and energy of Eternal. Just looking at it takes me to a place full of this energy. It's so Eternal. Never ending charm indeed. Partner, if you were given a chance to paint with the concept of fishery, what would you draw? Aho? Uh, I'll draw koi fish for sure. Why naman? Since I heard kasi na it brings luck and prosperity. O oh, diba? You never know naman. Bika lang naman. <laughs> or maybe mermaid if I have a talent. Or if do I have one. <laughs> Only if lang naman. How about you, partner? Wow, good luck with that. Me, I'd probably go with the drawing wherein the Filipino fishermen of the West Philippine Sea regain the land where they continue to live peacefully, taking their days fishing normally, cleaning the sea, and taking care of our coral reefs. Shala! Kinabog! Okay, you win. So yun na ang crown. <laughs> ang tali naman kasi noon, partner. Tapos ang meaningful pa ng vision. Diba? Oh. <laughs> Okay, so now, I think we should continue upon our INA na baka kasi ma- di na tayo makalis dito. Are you ready, partner? Yes naman, partner! Lastly, we have Mother and Child, made in 1993. It is an oil on canvas with the image of a mother lovingly holding her child. The loving atmosphere really would make you feel warm. Right, partner? Truly. And that's the more you look at it, you can see the warmth of love. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, partner. Kasi naman, the created painting executed this perfectly balanced composition of this work by exploring the creative possibilities of the formal elements of art, primarily line, color, and texture through the image of both the mother and the child. I noticed then that most of the pictorial spaces are dominated. The robust, tightly enmeshed figures emphasize the artist's intention here to show the purity, warmth, and all-encompassing nature of maternal love. I suddenly thought how basics are fundamental basis to create even more advanced artworks. Yes, I agree, partner. Especially when painting emotional pieces the form of expression required is higher than necessary. Partner, the last time you have asked me first what would I draw, diba? 
Now, it's my turn to ask you, what would you paint with the concept of emotional? Since I'm family-oriented, I would probably paint a complete family wherein a happy and love emotion will be felt by many and attract positive reactions upon it. Ikaw ba, partner? Ganda. Galing nun. I love it. Ako, ano, I would like to paint something related in literature. Siguro, the pain of lacking words to express oneself. Draw na lang ako broken pen and scattered papers with volunteers on it. I want to express how much pain and stress and helpless are we when we experience something about ourselves. So, I want those who might view it na pahalagahan nila kung ano yung meron sila ngayon. And continue to improve ng masive nila ang future self nila from regret. Wow! Shalom mo, girl! The look, partner. Last part na pala to ng ating third INA sa Philippine Figurative Expressionism under kay Ang. Yes, partner. Ang, the last airbender. Char! <laughs> Opo, ito na po ang ating last commentary sa mga sample work ni Ang Kyoko. Did you have fun, partner? Yes, of course. I didn't only have fun, but I also managed to learn a few things about Philippine figurative expressionism. Diba? Oo naman. It's also quite enlightening how deep was the Filipino artistry was. Looking back, I found out that there are similar artworks before, but Ang Kiuko kids different. He has this charm on his pieces that would make them stand out. Naku girl, I agree. Before we acknowledge those of our team and other related figures, we would like to thank the listeners for staying with us today. It was a great interpretation and analysis with you all. Right. See you again next time. Before the segment ends, we would like to give our thanks to the school, our team, Sherwat nga pala ka Reverente Milianes and Guzman. Ayun, salamat sa aming sponsors <laughs> and the network <laughs> Charat Thank you po sa subject teacher namin Opo. Yes Thank you po for the opportunity Sir Jared De La Cruz Once again, we are your host I am Mika Sasoka And I am Jeff Adrian Monreal Signing out Bye! Bye.